All right. I don't know if we're streaming. It appears that we're streaming. We're going to try to stream on YouTube for the first time. All right. Hopefully I'm coming in clearly. It's not too loud. I just want to introduce myself. I'm Sheldon Fry, and I've been working on this little project for the last couple of months, putting together, well, I think the culmination of a year, year and a half's worth of exper experience working with Unreal Engine. 3D modeling and City Engine and Twin Motion and just is just a lot of different stuff coming together. Um, it is using the a Infinity Engine build for Sonic the Hedgehog, so it is a kind of a pre-built that um, somebody in the community built and distributed it um, to the community to use on their projects, and others have. Um, taken that and ran with it with the velocity engine as well so um, I was having some difficulty running um, the velocity engine um, and I decided to switch back to the um, infinity engine build and I'm enjoying that a lot more so this is uh, kind of the, the look of the project so this is a 3d environment that I have made using two different software and then further cleaning it up within Unreal Engine and then just creating um, an environment to play around with Sonic. So this is a, a city that I focused on, a region that I focused on. So this is Kamano Island, Stanwood and Marysville, Washington. So I'm very familiar with this area and selected it for this project just to uh, um, Share, share it with the, the local community um, and hopefully kids will be able to play this with by the end of 2023 um, and get this all cleaned up and playable and um, eventually yeah, multiplayer will be implemented so you can fly around as Knuckles, Tails, Tangle and more. Um, it just takes some more work to make that happen so but I just want to demonstrate today the status of the project and to share um, what I'm really excited with with this whole thing is just building a playable demo with Sonic the Hedgehog. It's just mind blowing to me. Like, and I'm just really happy to be doing this and sharing this off. So, um, we're going to hit play. Hopefully the music's not loud and we're going to full screen it. And I'm in control. So playing with the Xbox controller, so this is within Unreal Engine. This is Unreal Engine uh, 5.2. So there's a lot of different technologies and stuff brought into this, but this is the first time to really be showing this off to anybody. And I did, I did a live stream earlier, but this is like my second time seeing this with my own eyes and experiencing it. So we got we got Rite Aid. That's exciting, right? We got Rite Aid. We got a computer generated building here that I think we can walk inside of. No. The windows are nice. There's no doors on this building. Oh, we got Petco. We got a car wash. This is super cool. All right. We're going to shoot over here. One of the main reasons why I was using City, City Engine was to populate street data and there is Python, a, a pre-existing Python code that was written um, I think David Wasserman and I'm able to take that and make the streets into realistic streets what's actually here in the city of Stanwood which is really exciting and then also it can do bridges um, and really flesh out the look of the sidewalks and uh, street markings. So this is kind of the end of the city of Stanwood and I'm going to steam to the part of upper Stanwood here. Hopefully uh, the blur effects aren't tripping you out. They kind of tripped me out a little bit. <laughs> There's something between Unreal like 4.27 to 5.0, 5.1 5.2, to there's kind of a funkiness going on with uh, the blur effect, so. 
when you run out of juice, you gotta press B a lot. And you get the juice back. <laughs> so, but this was kind of something new that I played with too. So, you can... This is created by um, Esri Japan. So it's just kind of like this, these hedges, the hedge path. You can kind of like run along and that's really cool. And then this is a, this is all computer generated architecture here. So these are um, just click of a button, it populates, which is pretty amazing. So it kind of saves me the hassle of trying to generate assets myself. But some of the other things that you guys will see in here are um, created commons assets and some things that are available through SketchUp and to bring it into this environment it just helps speed up the process and I'm a one-man show so <laughs> there's a lot a lot of things that are going on here so but yeah this is the second time of me seeing this and it's like it's pretty exciting to look at the environment and to see areas of opportunity to improve and then some of the limitations between sharing between the several several uh, pieces of software that I'm using and through importing and exporting and then seeing you know the, re the results of that I think for the most part for just only cleaning up the landscape slightly spending like 10 minutes just clean it up I mean this is playable it's not perfect but for anybody who lives in this area I'm sure that the kids would be like really excited to run around and do this so but um, gameplay wise I'm not this isn't gonna be only just Sonic there will be another gameplay mode so you can drive around vehicles and helicopters and other stuff and I, I want to program it with replication in mind so for the multiplayer for especially for the the Sonic and Knuckles and Tails and all that but also for the other side as well so but we can just walk up to some of these buildings here. They're not really, not really defined. It's like Dreamcast era graphics. And then some of the things that get brought into the environment have issues. Um, that's a little hard to explain. It's not coming to mind what, what that, what's causing that. But some other assets, they turn out really well. And they look pretty dang realistic. Like, that looks like a shell station. That looks like the shell station that's, their real life which is really really cool to see I don't know why there's rocks on the ground that's kinda of weird I do not know where those came from but yeah that's about it the product I'll back out one more time so you guys can see the, the scale of it oh I did something okay here we go I'm gonna back up so kinda of see the scale you can run around and do a lot of stuff um, eventually there will be objectives, um, rings and, um, enemies and a goal ring. So probably with the focus of, you know, coming from one area to the next area and it'll be, you know, a lot of different things that we can do with this. So, but, um, water effects, um, uh, like vehicles and train a train system it's all stuff that I have planned to add to this so I just getting the environment right first I think that's the big part and then building everything else up you know so this is really the the foundation to this project is to get this right and then really get into the nitty-gritty of the next part of the project and it's very time-consuming anybody's worked with game development or environmental design it takes takes a lot of effort um, willpower you know because it, it, things don't turn out right and you're like what the heck and you gotta go for a walk clear your mind and come back to it but this is uh, this is my project and just really excited to share it with you guys so let me know um, hopefully leave comments if you like like my work want to follow it just subscribe and I, I appreciate that so and uh, keep you guys posted. So hopefully in about a week or two, give you guys another update on the status of this. And 
Um, more and more of this has come together. All right, thank you guys. Have a good night.